<laughs> you get a first hand experience oh, of what it's like fuck. to be us. I do. <laughs> Holy shit. Hunter, you're going to single handedly lift the whole continent of Africa out of poverty. Please explain that. <clears throat> I was thinking about getting a sculpture from an African artist that my wife enjoys. He's a coffin maker. And I didn't realize that I asked him the dimensions because he was like, yeah, the thing's $15,000. And I was like, that's steep. <laughs> but I'll pay it. <laughs> it's about steep. And I was like, what are the dimensions? Well, I was just curious because if it's like a thing that's going to be on our desk, and I'm like, because mm. I was like. Uh, Does he it, pay it, shipping? No. And then I asked him, I said, <laughs> I said, how do you ship it? He's like, by crate. And I was like, okay, how much is that? He's like, well, with shipping, it'd be about 22. And I was like. It's like half half of it's shipping, and it's going to be tacked on top of that. And I was like, how big is it saying? He said 200 centimeters, and we looked it up, and that's fucking six feet long. So it's an actual coffin. It's actually uh, the exact same height as Don. It's six, like five. It's, a, six it's an actual coffin, but it's Don, just giant. Stand up hey, 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 is that the interior size or the overall size? I think it's the overall. Yeah, can so can you stand up? I just want to see how still, big that is. Actually, can you lay on the floor? No. Lay on the floor. Well, I want to see him long with. That's why I would know what's what. You don't have to lay on your stomach or anything. You lay on your back, whatever's more comfortable for you. But. More natural position. Yeah. So this is right here. I mean, that's that's a big leopard. It barely even looks like a leopard. Well, I don't think that man went to art school. It's that's the leopard? that's the charm. Yeah. Can I it's see really not a leopard. It's a it's right, a sausage well, dog. We don't need a dog on this man. It's a leopard. Why does she want to? Coffin that you, she doesn't want to. She doesn't. I want a coffin. I just, I'm looking for Christmas. The exact things. dimensions of you, Hunter. <laughs> it does look like one of Allison's drawings. Yeah, it's yeah. like a weird, uh, right. like it looks like a sausage lowbrow kind of. Well, it, it could, right. but it's a, it's a. Uh, she could get in it. And also, you know how rad hey, it would be honey, to be like, I bought it. Here it is. Merry Christmas. It's right here. Fucking it's shove her in it. Lock it. Do you know? Does she know how much that cost? Well, no. Well, why would you spend that much money on it then? You have? Because sometimes... <laughs> oh, it's, it's been done? It's happening? When you huh? get it, it's happening? No, no. You get it in time for Christmas? A little Christmas present for us? Well, I wanted to. <laughs> but now I'm going to see like... Because one, it's definitely a coffin. And I'm going to be like, do you just have any regular sculptures for sale? Does, does she know where Trevor keeps his gun? I don't think so. She might. She listens to this, so she at least know he has one now. I could fit in the coffin at least. Well, that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't mind being buried in a giant leopard <laughs> coffin. I don't know, dude. She knows that too. You probably She's come back as a zombie. About it. You know, zombies first for an African thing. <gasps> Voodoo zombies, bro. Oh, that's right. Gotta yeah. be careful. They weren't undead though. They're bad just like juju. Brainwashed, I think. That's more of a German thing. Right. Bad juju. <laughs> See the fucking crib keeper sitting next to me. <laughs> Bad juju. I was half listening and then I saw you. I saw you look at the. Did you look at the table and you started smacking it? <laughs> yeah. This is very bold for someone who's got a fucking melting ice drink on it. No. Two cups. Ooh, you're right. God damn it. Oh whoa, th that's crazy. It's less offensive than what you're can doing. We can we just order cup holders. What do you guys want to do for cup holders? Look at that. There you go. Yeah, I left my phone downstairs. It's my new move, so I don't know. Use it on Tom's phone. No. <laughs> no, no. I've got you both so trains that I don't have to say anything. I appreciate the rubber uh, watch strap, though. Fair enough. And no rings today, too? Yeah, we're good. I'm the only one that cares about this table. Mm -hmm. That's not true. Is it not? No. So far, I've done the least damage. That to you, my own surprise. But that doesn't yeah. mean I, consciously. You're delusional. You're, consciously, you're planning. You're plotting. What am I plotting? I don't know yet. That, <laughs> plotting that, that, to keep this that, pristine that, so you guys mystery, look like the bad guys. <laughs> that mystery is uh, gonna. I'm gonna come soon. inside of the table. Did it, you? When you painted this, Don? Did you come on it at all? I thought about it. Really? I did. Like actually, no, actually, because the um, you could have probably came with I it on the primer. I well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. The, Why? So we could have done cum table. The top coat. The top coat just looks like a jar of very white cum. So why didn't you do you it? Easily you, could, you, well, you, you, just, well, you only could have done it. You could have done well, the, well, no, the thought I had is I could do it and then not tell anybody and say, no, I didn't do it. And then wait until this disbands. Okay, and I then come on the table. 
Yeah, by the way. But why I would have been mad. Why would that be the play? Me. Yeah, that's the worst way to do it. Well, just I, well, yeah, because, I, I, because yeah. It's, a, yeah, it's a big, like, spiteful. Hey, your 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 forearms. Why would that be spiteful? I've scene. wanted nothing but yeah. cum table. I would be more time. mad that you didn't tell us it was selfish. You didn't tell me. Mm. Well, yeah. And you, I, so I, I and also, little... especially if you, would, if you would have done it in the first layer, and then there would have been other coats oh, painted on no, top. No, I can't go that way. Come on, every layer. You'd want to be <laughs> on the top, top layer. I want That's a multi tiered fucking spiteful. cum cake. But you, you know, the biggest reason not to is. Uh, come in all the better. The guests. There's no way the guests would Fuck have. the guests. They I know they're signing up No, for. what I'm saying, the whole fucking reason to do this would be mm. so when cu cream, cream Crew disbands, yeah. be, by the way, your forearms have been soaking up my cum. Yeah, for but I don't care. I want that. Well, okay. Well, he would care. No, he wouldn't. Oh, I just said I wouldn't. Hunter's, you, Hunter you, gets his torchy tacos trashy. You hate it's the cum table. Yeah. The trailer park trashy <laughs> is a great taco to get. I'm just saying, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't eat cum out of a trailer park trashy. I'd never do that. But yeah, what I'm saying, I, I couldn't do that to uh, all the guests we're going to have on this show. Why that not? That fair to them. That you ain't hilarious. Should, you ain't should have yeah. done You should have just made the conscious decision to just be like, this will always be the guest spot. Right. To where it's just There's like, no, no don't, don't take that seat. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, you have to sit here. It's yeah. like why, and that's very in there. It's like yeah, there's cum in this table somewhere. Right. The, this podcast that would be pretty. That would I, I think that would mm. probably. Is it too late to put another coat on? No, the cum coat, the top layer. Uh, it would be a little hard. To Who do would it, paint so. that? Would you paint if you had all of our cum on the table? You had to look at the cum and smell it. Probably you would. Yeah. Well, you I'm wouldn't sure, yeah. smell it. It'd be mixed into like l lacquer, right? Would you just put it? Would you just come into the lacquer can? How, how yeah. powerful is your cum scent? It's not that bad. That lacquer doesn't really smell. I don't like think anything. it's that bad, but I've never smelled anyone else's cum, so it could be bad. Right. What's your cum smell like? Gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. What about you, Don? Mm. It smells like bread dough. No. Yeast? Yeah, I guess. No, no, not yeast. Just like bread. Yeah. That's it's gluten free. It's a very <laughs> odd bread smell. Or like yeah. a very odd cum I smell. Think, trying to think. I think this is what cum smells like, as far as I know. That's an interesting only, way to go about it. You mean like like like, pro, like like Wonder Bread? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean not not the good bread. We're like, oh, that loaf. You like open up a bag. Yeah, like I, think a plastic bag I think it's good bread. It's like actually. the the piece of bread a cheap actually, barbecue it's, joint it's puts on your fucking bread. brisket. Yeah, yeah. You're to go home and be like, baby, do I smell a good bread? She's like, no. Sara Lee Honey Wheat. I like the idea of Don. Everybody goes to like a bakery and they're all just like, oh, it smells so nice in here. Mm -hmm. And the whole like, time Don's just like, this whole place smells, smells like kind. <laughs> this is disgusting. Yeah. How, well, how do you feel when you eat bread then? Like, mm. the, ugh. It's, it's contextual. It's like. <laughs> Sandwich. <laughs> I, th I think that uh, I think that McDonald's french fries taste like fart smell, but the context. Like many farts smell just like a McDonald's French fry, but the context makes one okay and the other one gross. It's weird. I feel like only when a French fry, McDonald's French fry, is very old, yeah, yeah. and bad. But yeah, you don't yeah. eat that. I just but, think, but I just you think don't think find that like gross. I think the, like, oh, the, the, the only well, fart smell I've ever the only well, fart no, smell I think I've not, ever had is it's like, not like this is a gross fart smelling French. It's fry. Like, it's like whenever you open up a container of like same scent, it's weird. Like cold cut turkey or ham. That like smells like fart. That's like a fart. But then yeah. you let it air a bit, and then the right. fart well, goes fine, away, and yeah. then you eat. It's fine. But I ima always Man, imagine, though, that's ugh. what a fart tastes like. You're right, but I haven't ever made that connection. It you never is. thought, like, really? turkey and I ham smell like, like, like the fart. That's, yeah, that's, that's like... When a, you open it up, it's just like that yeah, it's unpleasant... Like, yeah, it's just like... It's, like, it's got that, like, extra, like, meat tang to it. I was telling them I ate hummus last night, and it was fizzy. Yeah, what the fuck? What was fizzy? My hummus. I ate hummus, it was fizzy, dude. Was it, like... Past it? I think it was fermenting. Like, I feel yeah. like the bacteria never, was fighting in my I have never hummus. had hummus go bad before, so I've never seen that. The first two packets were, like, flat or whatever and fizzy. And then the third one was, like, expanded. Like, there was so much oh, fucking like gas. Yeah, the gas mm -hmm. in there. Yeah. yeah. The about, did you open just, it? <laughs> no. Oh, dude. Mm -hmm. How about that smell so terrible? Smell like my cum. Some fuck, probably. <laughs> yeah. I bet, you know, it's a lot hummus. of people, I could see people saying that their cum smells like hummus. You reckon? To me, it just, it, I mean, I don't, it, it doesn't make any sense. But maybe about, in Morocco, but... but there's something it, really foul not about here. that. Well, like it's just, it has this hand-in-hand -hand thing. Cum and hummus. I don't know why. Cummus. 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 <laughs> cream crew cummus. We should make that. C cream crew cummus. Yeah. Cream mm. crew cummus. It just, we just rebrand. <laughs> Eat it with basil chips. Sabra or something. Just put a little sticker on there. I don't think there's an earthly word that describes what my cum smells like. Not to say it's bad. I yeah, just don't think there's an Honestly, earthly I word. Bet it smells like blood, like iron. Just iron, just metal. Make, make, makes your fucking teeth great. You're just like, 
You know, we can find out if you want. Uh, go. You feeling go, hungry? Go, go come and go come in the fucking little container and put, put it in your, a little Dixie cup, and no, you put can it, no put it in. A, I know what it smells like. I don't need to fucking swirl it. You oh, I thought that's what you're saying. I well, know what my oh, comes well, from. How, like. how can you not associate it with something? It doesn't smell like any earthly thing. Well, what? Okay, well, what unearthly thing does it smell like? I wonder if Unfathomable. Quantum if, physics. If we all came in a Dixie cup, do you think you'd be able to identify yours next to ours? I don't know, because I don't know specific? what other men's cum smells like. I think like. that if you could... It could all smell it, the same. If, well, if, you're, if, if your fucking cum is so godly that it doesn't I resemble just any other... You kind I just of, said otherworldly. No, no, no. You, you Unearthly. Said, no, no, no. But you yes, said... No, no, no. Yes, yes, No, no, no. Yes, yes, But they said there... No, no, But they said there, and they... No, no, no. I will go all day. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes! The, uh... They go, uh, if, if you, you can't understand what your, like, cum smells like to other things, because that's what every guy does, you know? Yeah, but we're all comparing it to completely disparate things. Like, you're yeah, saying but you, you can say, like you can hummus. say, no, no, hummus I'm smells saying. nothing like bread, so well, that's what, that's, be... No, that's what I'm, I'm on your side here, yeah, and I'm saying, all right. I'm just it. saying I can't liken it to anything. No, but I'm, I'm proving that... You definitely could, because you'd be like, mine doesn't smell like this. It's this smells like Wonder Bread. It can something can not smell like anything else and still smell like no earthly thing. Yeah, that's probably fair, I guess. So you're saying that we just maybe associate that it smells like something, even though you think it doesn't? No, no. What I'm saying is that just because I can't identify what it smells like doesn't mean it has to smell like something that already exists. Well, it's fine, but what he's saying is, would you be able to pick your cum out of a Dixie cup? Uh, well, I or guess if rough smell, if, you, if you're if it's not it covered not by the bread, like bread or anything, or anything, yeah, then like you'd be bread. like, I know that this doesn't smell like my cum. Yeah. Well, this then I guess, like, yeah, it like just, it, sounds, it, it depends sounds how strong the bread and gasoline is. Sour. I would be able to pick mine out because mine's very yellow. Mm. I don't not believe you. I think this is not a bit. <laughs> I think this is actually like true. <laughs> it looks like baby snot. Torchy's inferno sauce is. It looks it, it's like applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> is that, you know what it looks like? It looks like when a baby sneezes and they just have mucus all over the front of their face like that. And she's like, it's that kind of yellow and fucking green. Mm, it yeah. looks like pushing apricot green a little puree. Bit. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you ever get cum when it's chunky? No. Mm. That happened to me once. Uh, really? I have a great disparate... Well, you're, you're, you're a two-pump chump. I am. That's the problem. Yeah. We, we have to, it's, you know, you love your edging jokes. It's all about edging. That's how you thicken yeah, that's that's how, how that's you how thicken it off. up. Yeah, you mix yeah, the exactly. better. It comes out like, like babe, get off. She's like, just stop. I'm like, get off me. <laughs> and I go take a cold shower. <sighs> Do you ever have like wildly <clears throat> different velocity to your cum? The, what, I wouldn't what, say why. Within, it, it, it within the like same, a, within the same incident, or no, I'd say like over, I'm not talking like half and half. Let's like say half let's, shoots let's, out and the other dribbles. I'm just well, saying like no, different like days. No, yeah, slow. like over the course yeah, of a month. Yeah. Right, I'd yeah. say it's like a gradient, like day to day. Yes. Yeah, Some days I might 30 miles per hour straight down the middle. Other days it just kind of like oozes out. Sadly, well, it's, it's it probably a problem. I think it's 100 percent about the like timing. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. If you if you hold it in, it's like you're building pressure. You know. I'm not. I, we yeah, talked like, about this ironically, before. Ironically, obviously, that's not the science of it, but I th think that's actually like the, the thing. We've spoken about this before. I, I do not agree with or condone edging. I think it's nonsense, millennial nonsense. Mm, you just, you know? Whatever, dude, you're a fucking hater. I, mm. I, as quick as I can, I fucking <laughs> speed run porn. <laughs> <laughs> like my hero, time! <laughs> like my hero Sonic. Have you ever played uh, Fap Hero? No. Oh, well, you got to try that out. <laughs> I have played Flappy Birds. That's not anything okay. like. <laughs> sounds like it. Mm. They it's, sound similar. Where, you've seen those porn videos. It's got a music track and, you, track and you have to fap along to it. Do they have the little guitar <laughs> thing at the bottom? No, I've actually never heard of that. Wait, the guitar? Th what? what? Well, like, yeah, wait, yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah you got to yeah. fap to it. Yeah, you've but, never. Come well, on. It'd be cool if there was like the guitar hero, like the track. Trapping, but but if there it was, is at the bottom. It's but like if it was like with a dick somehow or something. <laughs> if it had like. It'd be funny if it, like it, if it had the same thing that it comes this way, and it's like, like arrows are it like does. up, down, up, down like that, Sick. and it goes up the track. That'd be but, sweet. But does it just look like the Guitar Hero riff board or whatever? No, or? It's got like a little thing down the bottom, like 2D. Nice. Oh, see, and I then it's like, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll like be like, stop, three. Two. <laughs> 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 I gotta download this song. Oh! I'm, <laughs> I'm really gonna download this Current Craft 400 song or Zombie Nation, whatever the fuck it's called. Are you browsing the internet unprepared, you silly little goose? <laughs>
NordVPN is so easy to use. You can connect with one click or enable auto connect. It's been confirmed by the speed test. NordVPN is the fastest VPN out there. It's been one way. NordVPN is on every platform. Windows, iOS, even your TV supports NordVPN. No way! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Go, Go to NordVPN.com forward slash cream. Go to NordVPN.com forward slash cream. Go to NordVPN.com forward slash cream. Go to NordVPN.com Go to NordVPN.com forward slash cream for a two-year plan at 73% off and one month free. That's why it's like zombie. Zombie shot. Yeah. Guys, cover that. Yeah, you get Pavlovian response. You're that concert. <laughs> Dick just starts pumping. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. All the guys are like, <laughs> <laughs> isn't that like a big thing at uh, soccer games in Europe, right? They, they do like the oh, 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 oh they do a lot of stuff, oh, like that kind of shit. Stuff. We are, we're kings of the chance mm. for sure. That's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. you told me some good chance that they do. There's good YouTube compilations of like really like people are clever, man. They get intricate and they all sing along and shit. It's kind of funny. Mm. Mm, yeah. Very nice. Anyway, well, no, uh, I've, I've never, I've never, years. I've never played uh, fat, 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 fat hero. Well, now you can. Maybe I will. You should. <laughs> you can, uh, you can play like I don't know, Enter Sandman, Fat Hero. Boom, 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 it's like during the live 1991 Moscow show tour. <laughs> Over 500,000 people attended the show. <laughs> Such a big audience. <laughs> what was going on in my eye? <laughs> well, dude, so they don't like sync up the porn? They do. The, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, so they're, these are like actually pretty intense edits. Yeah, but then. dude, yeah. People what? put an effort, man. Why yeah. wouldn't you? It's an industry. That's great footage to sift through, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, they make a little compilation. Or actually, no, would that be, I wonder if, yeah, it, if kinda, it, I wonder if it's, it's more painful. fucking break you. Psychologically, probably. Oh, just, but just, edging for three hours doesn't. Absolutely not. No, I, I mean, no, that's fine. I, I haven't gone. To Meanwhile, the gym. you both have fucking to, ED. I haven't gone to the gym gorilla, in four years. Gorilla grip your dick. <laughs> I haven't gone to the gym in four years, but yeah, I can bench press three hundred and fifteen pounds. <laughs> Thanks, <to> edging. <laughs> <laughs> I pop a couple of Viagra. I go to the gym. My cock's nice and big and hard. And then I go in there. I'm just like, oh, oh, just fucking busting them out. I let <laughs> sit on my chest for four and a half minutes. I do. I do fucking three sets of forty. Well, fair enough. I guess I never had that data. Me and all the other Mormons are sitting there high fiving and shit, and then we go play <laughs> basketball. <laughs> and uh, I think I've already said this in the podcast, but there's also soaking, which I think is a great form of edging. Yeah, you just leave it in, right? Yeah, you're also not going against God that way. That's at least that's what the Mormons tell me. I why not? <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like God wants you to shoot your load your and make is, more people. Your, your dick's hard and you put it in a pussy, you just don't move. So you're like, this hasn't been recording. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. This one's not been recording. Did Bit it. of a giant technical malfunction there, folks. Was the other footage saved? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, but it's probably corrupted. Yeah, we should probably uh, assume. Yeah. So it you're it just going to have the uh, talking mouth thing. Right. have to figure that out. Or, you know, not Some use it. Whatever. But it was funny come talk. It was funny come talk. Don, here's it's a question. Fucked. Here's it's a question, all, Don. It's ruined, Tom. Here's a question, Don. Don, here's a question. If you came in the lacquer <laughs> and didn't tell us, does that mm. not constitute as a lie? Yeah, it would be a lie. I didn't do it. So. But what were you even tempted I for? I didn't do it! When it so clearly goes against <laughs> the pillars of your integrity. Well, I'm tempted to lie all the time. But it's uh But then I don't, because I'm a better man than both of you. Than everyone in this room, actually. Oh, you reckon? Mm-hmm. Along what axes? Just the, the lying thing? Because I, I feel like it's a spectrum of different qualities that probably I, sum up to make a man. I, I don't lie. I mean, like, I, I could beat you in an MMA fight. You could. I saw Joe Rogan live. The other night, so oh, shit. somewhat of an expert. That that does actually get you uh, four or five belts. I don't know all the colors, but I know that it ends up being black. 
Yeah. So whatever. I don't know how close you are to that belt, but I am afraid. Does he MMA people that go to his shows? <laughs> I'd cool. hope. Get up here. <laughs> no, I'm okay. No, get your ass up here. <laughs> Just fucking like throws him over his shoulder. Yeah. Did you guys like seeing that? Everyone's like. Dude, Joe Rogan can throw me over his shoulder. He's like four foot five. He got a hundred percent throw you over. He can, his he's four without, foot five. Without a Dude, I can doubt. kick Joe. I feel like he could throw me and I feel like he can throw me and Trevor Dude, over his shoulder at the same time. How's he going to clear my legs off the ground? He's so short. He's going to put all of his body weight above his head and throw it. He can't. He's this tall. I, Doesn't matter. I actually think he could, and it'd be very funny to see. It of course, be. Joe trying, Rogan yeah. could throw me over his I'm shoulder. Trying, I'm trying to imagine everyone. It. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I actually think he probably could. No right. shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a bit. It was a bit. It was a funny bit. Oh. It's a funny bit that no one knew it was happening. How was Joe Rogan? Did you laugh? Did you appreciate his stand up? It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. You had a good time. Are you just saying that because you hope to one day be on his podcast? Yeah. I'm, do you know <laughs> one? Once we asked him if we could go on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that'd be, that'd be a funny story to tell. It's not, yeah, it's not so, that funny. It's not that funny. You don't think, <laughs> you don't think so? Because, because, right, he, he, it, he, because a, he shared your cartoon. It was an admirable effort to... It wasn't. To, Thinking to, back, total wrong angle. <laughs> so basically... Hey, you, got, you out, got a response out of him. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. He responded. Oh, he responded. well, that, okay, there's two incidents then. No, it was no, all there the was, same. I know, it was all the same. I know, no, I know what you're right, talking about. We'll, there was two, we'll, I promise. All right, go ahead. Yeah. All right, so what happened? All right, so Joe Rogan stole our cartoon and re-upped it without our permission. Dick, Dick, move, Joe. Mm. He's watching. Uh, so I messaged him. Uh, obviously, I complained about it on Twitter, and then he like took it down and he followed us as like a sympathy, as a sympathy pity thing. Did you actually come like bitch about it? Was I it actually? It was like tongue in cheek, but the intention was like, hey, you can't just like steal our shit. So did he download the video and upload it himself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Unbrand. it wasn't like... He did. He debranded it, too. He took the Flash Kids thing off, I think. I don't he? know. I don't know. I can't remember. It's well, long ago. But anyway, he he took it down. He followed us. He then was like, you should check this out, everyone. Flash Kids, blah, 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 blah. And I was mm. like, this is our chance. <laughs> <laughs> the JRE. We, we asked, could do we it. asked my dad about it, too. <laughs> <laughs> look, yeah, you, you got... Look, boy. Was he, was he like, huh? Dude, boy. Should, dude, should we do it, Dad? He's yeah, like, we asked our dad. He's like, listen, you, boy, you, you gotta, gotta take go, chances you sometimes. You gotta go for it. You miss every shot you don't take. <laughs> 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 the JRE, Don, the D-O-N. The D-O-N on the JRE. you're saying this is like a big show? The T-O-M and the D-O-N on the JRE. Think about it, boys. It's science. It's math. You're saying this is a big podcast? Is what you're saying, boy? This is yes, like a big it's, deal? It's, it's the biggest podcast <laughs> in the fucking world. <laughs> so, well, uh, like, hey, what's yeah. a podcast? You, yeah. you miss every shot you don't take, boy. Was mm -hmm. was the message we messaged him your dad's idea, too? Oh, mm. God. No, or was well, that thing, our idea? Thing, no. You, we were like, you, you did the message. He didn't write that. It was like... Well, but we was it his all, idea? You said some stupid no, bullshit. No, no. Right. Oh, here we go. Oh, am I mixing the stories again? Yeah. yeah go ahead. So... Whoever's idea it was. It's like an old message. married couple. I fucking. <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a good memory. Don right. does not. All right. So he uh, either. <laughs> I have a good memory. So I may have written it, or his dad may have written it. I don't it was, remember. One hundred percent you. Okay. Well, in any case, uh, I said basically like. You know, it's kind of bullshit, Joe. I was, like, almost kicked out of university because I made, like, an anti-feminist cartoon. Like, there's no free speech in England, Joe. We should talk about that on the podcast. That is not a real message you sent him. Mm -hmm. yeah, I could probably pull it up and read it word for word yeah. if you want. If yeah. you have it still, oh, yeah. my God. If it's we actually... Just, that, yeah, I mean, we, just, we tried to play the... We are like, what does Joe Rogan feminists. care about? Yeah, feminist. This by the, by the way, this was at the our, height of it. Our, we could talk about our story for three hours of the Joe Rogan, <laughs> Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> Three hours of content, Joe, for you. Think from Joe. us. This is a big deal, Joe. We would only need twenty, thirty thousand dollars to appear. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I don't want to read this. Oh, no, you found it. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Oh, you wrote like a fucking book, dude. You approved all of this. I did not just fucking YOLO JOLO. You approved it all. That was sick. <laughs> first-hand experience oh, of what it's like fuck. to be us. I <laughs> Holy shit. Cut that too. No, we've, you got leave, you leave. we've got a reputation. Out of, out of, out of all the shit this is in my so cringy. You approved this. I didn't YOLO JOLO, sir. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I want to, that better be left in. That better be fucking left leave, in. Leave it in. God. It's good. Good stuff. You just bleep the next 40 seconds of you reading this. <laughs> yeah, this is as bad. I don't Can you read it? No. You got to, whenever you put the edit up, well, can I read it? <laughs> I'm not sure I want to cede power over to you. Okay. Yeah, this way you can paraphrase. Hey, Joe. Thanks again for sharing our tune. Really flattered that you enjoy it. It's already raked in over 7 million views on your Facebook. I think this might be the message where we said, uh, take it down, but maybe it isn't. I don't know. So, hail fucking Mary attempt here, but we'd love to sit down oh and my, chat wait, with... Wait, pause. <laughs> wait, what was that line? So, hail fucking Mary attempt here. Oh, God. You know what hail Mary is? No, I know, but it's that's just... Term. Yeah, I, I get it. You'll, you'll get it. <clears throat> so, hail fucking Mary attempt here, but we'd love to sit down and chat with you. We're avid listeners of your <laughs> podcast. <laughs> I love the ver- man. There's so much tactics in this. I love the variety and breadth of guests. Jesus Christ! Wait, 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 How wait, old were on. you guys? Yeah, what year was this though? To be it would have been 2018. Is, it was it was the first Conor the, McGregor one. This is obviously the context of this year where it is like the biggest podcast in the world. Whereas at this time, this was like right around like. He should. He should. This is before Jordan Peterson was even on. So it's like, yeah, Joe Rogan's a big show, but it's not like. He hasn't you know. had JP yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, so still, uh, still the it's, biggest it's podcast just, in the world. You know, at this point, give it a couple months. Give Trevor, it a couple Trevor, months, can you Hunter. look up when we release Crazy Conor McGregor? Because yeah. this is the video this happened on. Actually, I can tell right here. This was 28th of December, 2016. Yeah, so oh, that's, wow. Okay, yeah, so, so that's ago. that's like before... So it's totally excusable. It's still, fine. He was so, small no, fish. Well, he wasn't having fucking Robert Downey Jr. and shit on. It was still like comedians. Yeah, and, we, we and, had a shot. And, 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 you know, the, the intellectual dark Yeah, web. a variety and breadth of guests. <laughs> intellectual dark web. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, this is good. Yeah, a variety and breadth of guests. Fair a, enough, wait, Tom and Don. A variety and breadth of guests. We'd hope to add to that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! So you guys are like 22 by this point, right? Yolo Jolo. Like think about 22? Yeah, I don't know. How old are we now? 2016. That's 28. Five years ago. So, so we're at 23. Yeah, 23. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's not acceptable, is it? No. Fresh, fresh out of college? Fresh out of college! Young Bucks on the prowl. Just trying to get off. It, it shows, it definitely shows like youthful ignorance. Ignorance. <laughs> Retarded. We, was this before or after Rooster Teeth? Because we probably should have <clears> learned our lesson. That was definitely before. It had to have been before. Yeah, this this is before the big the big RTX story for sure. This, this, <laughs> this, yeah, the, the the Rooster Teeth hates us. Episode. This was before we that. got out there and showed people our stuff. You know? <laughs> <laughs> people what All right. Made of. Oh god, this is bad. Um, <clears throat> this is long. Yeah, no, yeah it's, it's like it's like a book. I thought this was just a tweet. Oh my we god. <laughs> That wall of text. Oh, wait, wait, wait. And at the end, at the end of that wait. wall of text, okay. it just says seen. Just seen. It's been seen. He saw it mm. and did not reply. Yeah. Mm. Uh, right. yeah, well, we, we can just go ahead and put that one to bed. We're just two guys. One from the USA. Don. <laughs> oh my and one, God. Let me get through this. Mm. And one from the UK. Tom, making these cartoons together since we were 13. In brackets, now 23. You're right. My dad wrote this. It's definitely all his fault, not our fault. And I was trying. I was trying to help us there, Don. <laughs> Over Skype with the Atlantic between us, we went from ten thousand subscribers on YouTube to nearly one point five million after you, releasing the most popular cartoon on the internet you with over one hundred twenty million views. Tell and him a it's story. drastically changed our lives. Tell him a story. Can you right imagine Joe Rogan reading this. <laughs> 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 Interesting. Interesting. Uh, Motherfucker right. clicked off as soon as he said, "We'd love to sit down and chat with no, you." No, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, and I take solace in that that he didn't read the rest. You know? <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> <laughs> I, Tom, was almost kicked out of university by an ethics review board after submitting an anti-SJW cartoon as my final project. I had to fight tooth and nail to you save into my this stuff, Joe. I had to fight tooth and nail to save my debt-laden degree. We mm-hmm. don't have the First Amendment in the UK. Oh, this next bit hurts, and it's disastrous. The B- <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. the BBC even asked for an interview. We're no James Hetfield, but we're way younger and more handsome 
The podcast doesn't have to be naked. All the best, Tom and Tom. Oh, yeah, okay, <laughs> it just yeah, says, no, 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 yeah. scene. Hey, so this is, this is what happened. So we initially tweeted and asked if we could be on the show. We but established it was, it was first contact. It was a joke. You said, like, we should want us on the podcast. We all be naked or like some stupid shit about being naked. It was probably a really good joke. And then, he, it, well, he tweeted back and he said, that sounds problematic. And we're like... <laughs> And then, you know, we say, we, we turned that into a serious proposal. <laughs> oh, the deal. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's, he, he it's, opened, it's, it's, it's he moments. the door. Hey, dude. what's that? What's that FBI, uh, that FBI negotiator book we read that one time mm. that teaches you how to. This, no, this was before that. What's that called? This was before that. What's this called? This was before that, though. Ah, why can't you just help a bit? Because. Why can't you just help a bit along to make it funny? What is the book called? Because it's making it more shameful than it already yeah, is. Yeah, and that's funny. Yeah, but it's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> It literally. This is like a, a married couple. Oh my god! It's not fair. Who are you? Who are you siding with in this married couple? None of you. Mm -hmm. Fucking liar. Let me tell you something. You know you're with me. Hey, you know what? <laughs> fucking a, snap at me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, hey, I'm not. I'm not saying you wouldn't have done better. I'm not saying you wouldn't have done better. But you did not have this pressure when you were 23. <clears throat> yeah, you rolled I'm into not it saying, fully grown. I'm not saying you're not. You weren't less retarded than us, mm. but. Different time, different Tom and Don. Okay. We've matured. We've read books about FBI negotiations I don't, since I, then. I don't agree that I would have handled that the same. But I'm not a, saying that. He is saying, saying you that. probably would have handled it better. But not great. I'm just saying that, listen, mm -hmm. it's youthful it, it, It's youthful ignorance. You guys are younger than you've grown. But it's just like this is such a large precursor to even the rooster teeth thing. And there is no... <laughs> Did, are you human? Like I don't understand. Like how do you not learn from this <laughs> catastrophe of what this is? And then to even be left on, you should. You know what you gotta do? You gotta fucking print that out and frame it with the scene Ooh. at the bottom. Uh oh, Ooh. Tom, see something? Mm -hmm. We what? sent it on Twitter as well. Oh, we yeah. sent it on Instagram and Twitter to him. Had we to hit him up on both platforms. Had to make sure he saw it. Did you? Did he follow you on both? Yeah, mm. maybe. It's a serious proposal. <laughs> I like how you guys thought that you were like that big of a draw. <clears throat> we didn't. We knew we won, yeah, but we he thought he said, "Hail fucking Mary." Uh, yeah, we were aware. Thing. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Hail Mary, Dad, Dad." He said, "Hail." Mary. We showed self awareness, Dad. <laughs> this is, uh, well, boy, I tell you what, this is one of the <laughs> shots that you missed, but that's okay. <laughs> you know, you tried. But you, you learn from you this, can, boy. You can always tell yourself you tried. <clears throat> you know, I think about some of the times in my life where I've talked to somebody or done something where inevitably you look back on it and you're like, "That was just a trash fire," right? Mm -hmm. Both of you, like, I have come nowhere near as close as you guys have in any of the situations that you've said I've never to where it feels parents. like you gave like you it's like there's like seven-year-olds that inhabit your body <laughs> and you guys are like what if we did this and it's like that's a good idea tom you know, you know the funny thing is looking back like i fully agree but also empathize with us sending that message i understand how we got there i understand the 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 steps that were taken to get there, and you know, it seemed like a reasonable shot that mm. was missed, and that's just how that goes. You did the best you could, especially yep. in a way where you could definitely tell that somebody wrote that along because you're humanizing yourself as if anyone cares. <laughs> that's like that's <laughs> that, that's mistake number one. I don't think it's as bad as the Rooster Teeth one. Well, yeah, because it wasn't in person. He didn't fucking right, respond, and it's Joe God. Rogan, so it's like it's like obviously I don't expect Joe Rogan to. In respond. our defense, also, we put, after he didn't respond, we put together, we, we got all of the amount of subs we had. We t did a poll on Twitter about what race they were. And then we got the average dick size. What? What Just let, let me get to through it. You'll understand at the end. I don't remember this. We asked what race they were. And then we got the average dick size of like each race. And we calculated exactly how many miles of dick there was. And we mm. broke it down in like a, you know, in a graph. And it was very funny. And we were going to send him that as like a, this is how much dick we can bring to the podcast. Oh, and we didn't send it. Good. So, growth. Send some growth. Yeah. Mm. Is that why we did that? Man. Remember, like, yeah. Calculus. We can probably Man, still that's find like, that. That's like show Jesus quest Christ. era. Uh, I, I, I remember doing kids. I remember doing that, but I don't remember the reason being, oh, this will get him to reply. It was, it was our last Hail Mary. <laughs> 
I didn't you know. Know. Hey, Joe. Fourth and Hail fourth fucking and ten. Mary. <laughs> number two here. Yeah, number two. <laughs> hey, NF <laughs> NFL Blitz style. Hail Mary. Yeah, well, who's he following on Twitter, Hunter? Uh, you guys. You win. That's right. You do win. Do you remember your dad said... Uh, when if you, you ever talk to him, though, that's going to be such a great... He won't remember. No, but bringing it up like that, and then it's like a thing oh, where it's like weird. such a blip... Of like, it, because that's the thing with him, with all the shit that's happened. Is no, like, that's it's like, so, that's, I'm going to call you out. That's socially retarded. Can you imagine being on the podcast? But and then we sent you this message this one time and you didn't say you didn't and I really it. It, dep like it, dep <laughs> it depends how you exactly did. did, 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 did. He's like, why are you talking about <laughs> I just like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> I think that it would be kind of charming in a way to where it's just like, especially if it was like <clears throat> on you, because there was that guy that was on Joe Rogan that got, he's the dude who got fired for the racist shit that James he did. James Damore. Is that who it was? It wasn't racist shit. He was just saying that like, there's a reason that there's potential biological reasons why women choose different career paths to men. No, that's, that's not James Damore. It was a Chinese there, thing. A few guys. I think he did oh. like I think he did like an Asian accent thing or something. Shane Gillis. I'm oh, sure. sorry. Okay. Mm. But he sat there and he was on. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was him. That was. I don't know for a fact, but I'm pretty sure he was on Joe Rogan, and he's like, "Yeah, so I got fired from Saturday Night Live, but I was like, I don't give a shit. I'm going to go on the Joe Rogan podcast." And he said that in front, mm -hmm. of, like to him at the thing, and he's like, <laughs> and Joe's like, "What? What?" And he's like, "Oh, well, I just thought that that was funny." And he like, had to explain it afterwards. <laughs> And it's like that feels less that feels way more cringy than just being like, Yeah, like years ago we had an awkward interaction. He's like, What really? You know, and like if there was that kind of mutual yeah, I'm with Don, yeah, the I can't, worst idea I can't ever. Play it in a way that doesn't make my skin crawl. Honestly. I don't think that any I think you need all the help you can get in that interview. <laughs> <laughs> any kind of leverage to make you seem more normal and more human as it, if like you're, uh, you're no, kids. It, it will it will be one of those weird 45 minute episodes of JRE where <laughs> yeah, and he's like cool <laughs> thanks thanks for stopping by I, I oh, thought this you, thing went yeah. on for so much time yeah, don't you yeah, want to no. smoke weed and drink whiskey Joe <laughs> 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 nope we're good thanks yeah, remember he, he did that to uh, one episode I really liked was uh, David Miscavige's dad uh, who, uh, David Miscavige is the guy who's like the head of Scientology now or whatever. Right. Um, and his dad was on there. And he only had him on for like a fucking hour. And he's like, great. Well, well, because he kept like trying. I think he was getting frustrated. I, once again, that could be wrong. But I believe Joe was getting frustrated because he's like trying to talk to him. But he's just like, Joe, you got to buy the book. He kept saying. <laughs> he was like promoting a book yeah. there. And it was a pretty interesting. Uh, mm. It was an interesting conversation. But it's like. doing it too much. Yeah, but it was like every time that like they were leading down something interesting, he's just like, and I'll tell you something, it was you just gotta bite the book and just figure it out. Mm -hmm. And you're like, he's like, oh, but I mean, like, what does this mean? He's like, I didn't buy the I book. Mean, you gotta buy the book. But definitely, yeah, we're not gonna ever be. So on. bring up, bring up the the Twitter post. It'd be funny. Bring up oh, the Twitter, it, yeah, the Twitter it. post, <laughs> and like <laughs> spell it out for everybody. Because I, 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 because I, the, the reason, the, the, the reason is a copy paste of the Instagram message. No, yeah, that and then also just the him I taking can't bring it. That up. I don't know where. Who gives is. a shit then? I'm yeah. just trying to make a conversation. Well, let me let me say that uh, Don's dad, ever in our corner, uh, chastised Don when he went to uh, see Joe doing? Rogan live comedy. He oh. chastised you for not going up and approaching Joe and being mm, like, "You should have, you should have cornered him." Can you even do that? Can you could you see him after the show or something? <laughs> no. <laughs> you should have gone up on the goddamn stage and told him his boss, "You're D O N. He's J R E." <laughs> makes sense. Like, stop saying that, Dad. T O M should have been there to back you. <laughs> I, I can't believe you. You had a chance and you missed. Yeah. You should have. You just tell you tell him your flash gets. You, 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 you tweeted me, us. You retweeted us. Over a million subs. It's like, Dad, <laughs> he's... Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where the your parents think that it's, like, so much bigger than what it actually is. Yeah. Yeah, people see, people see like, millions, and you're like, it's not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. Uh, man, I, but yeah, I don't know. If, I, if it was me, I would do it. And you know what I would do is I'd play it really straight mm -hmm. and be like, we were little insects on a fucking hill, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> and I get it. Hey, it was just a regular Tuesday night for you, but we couldn't sleep that night. <laughs> he's like, he's like, well, what? Like, why? What? He's like, what? Well, why? Why couldn't you sleep? Oh, I don't know. The biggest fucking podcast person on planet Earth, our heroes. You I know, you, I really <laughs> thought after the Rooster Teeth episode, we had got all of the stories out no. of the system. Yeah, I what I else is going to rear his head? I will, I you know what? This. I will say this one's more sad. The other mm. one's at least fun, but this one's more sad. <laughs> sad how? 
Well, it's sir, just, you, what, the we whole need, demeanor, like, it's like, it, the it's just one of those things of just being like, where's the tragedy We were here? just, we were just young. Yeah. <laughs> Casey, Casey, what is that, what's that fucking big, like, what's the Casey base, Hart's the baseball bat? thing? Casey at bat, whatever. Casey at the bat. It's like, it's like you swing once, but he's like this big home run hitter, right? Right. You swing <laughs> once, miss, and everyone's like, oh, and he's like, oh, I don't give a shit. Swings again, misses, oh, whatever, I'll hit the next one. He swings and misses and he strikes out. And it's like just a horribly sad ending, and that's what this was. You set it up with some funny jokes, and then after the third one, I just feel like I just like watched my dog get euthanized. <laughs> you got Casey at the bat. You got Casey at the bat. You know, what, what can you say? Do, do strike you out of the whole ball game? <laughs> at the J-R-E. <laughs> Imagine coming as far as we have with this level of autism. In some ways, makes it more impressive. I think the biggest problem is you guys got too much success when you were younger, and you didn't you didn't get the regular. You like, have such a warped view of what our success was and what it was like. Mm. I didn't even look at our fucking you did, analytics. You, 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 you guys have never had like I don't think Don's ever had a job. I've had plenty of jobs. Mm. I haven't had a job. You've never had a job. What job did you have, and what age were you? Bartending and fucking kitchen. Sous but from what age to what age? Dishwashing. Uh, what that age? Was, what age? Oh, fucking give me a chance. Well, you don't have to list every single fucking. You asked me what job. Well, obvi- well, okay. If you okay, <laughs> okay then ha- keep listening and then tell me the age. So that would have been between <laughs> like seventeen and nineteen. So two years, you had seven jobs. <laughs> well, yeah. So they were each like two months long. They were all in the same place. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't fucking count. Why not? Also, you're working with, because you you've never had to like fin yeah. for your own and like yeah, a that, job and like get out yeah, of Yeah, in that case I've got I've had like five jobs. <laughs> yeah. Well go ahead. Hey. What were your five jobs? <laughs> 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 Uh, barista, sandwich artist, busboy, janitor. artist, fuck off. Mm. No. <laughs> but th- these were like I, for two weeks, right? I, I literally worked two shifts at a coffee shop in my hometown. And then I and then I told him, he, by the way, in a few months, I'm gonna I'm my mom bought me a trip to England for three weeks. So he's like, all right. Hey, I just made a bunch, I made like forty thousand dollars doing a cartoon online. I gotta go. They're like, what? He's like, bye, I'm going to Europe. <laughs> It's like, okay. I, I don't get why my jobs don't count in because, that period. You, know, it's, you had one job for that period. You were a guy at a pub that did two stuff. years. That's not a job. No, yeah, it's two, a job. Two you years, said but I've seventeen like seven jobs that are all in the same under the same roof. That and then also like you're just you're seventeen. And I, like, I, I don't, yeah, I don't count. Well, they, I was they, a, I, I helped do paintball fu- shit and fucking. I'm not saying that it's not work. I'm just saying it's like, not. I'm just saying it's not. I'm not saying that's not a work or a job. I'm just saying it's not a job. Where you're out on your own and right. you have to go and be in a workforce and, a, and like fucking fend for yourself out Commute, there and use the, that kind of things. I went and some people do con- like construction or whatever the fuck it is, and that's where <laughs> I think you build social relationships and everything outside of your comfort zone. And it's something that you fucking hate that you have to do. I did you have like another option. I did like box shit in a warehouse for a bit. I don't remember how. I just long. So I, to me, it's like if someone, it's like when your cousin says something like, "Oh, I got a job," you like laugh at him because you're like, you don't even know. You know what I mean? No. Okay. Well, what, what, what are you saying? His cousin? What you, no, what he's you? no. What you if he's saying that his cousin, if like who's young, he right. sat there and he was like, he's like, yeah, I got a hard job. It's been real hard lately working mm-hmm. at the pool. You laugh at him because you're just like, shut the. F-. You don't even oh, know what the fuck nephew. it is. Or, or yeah, your nephew. Yeah, he's like, you don't even know. What the fuck? Oh, what I was working, working full oh, time here's, hours. Here's here's the thing though, like, mm. and you know this better than anybody. Right. This this shit that we do do is really fucking hard. It is it's hard. No, it's not. I'm like, not saying. I'm not saying oh, that you got. I, just yeah. draw the car too. I couldn't imagine yeah. going and fucking harder than any fucking call center <laughs> bullshit job. That is absolutely fucking true. You say it is, yourself. It is 100 percent true. 100% In terms true. of, uh, I'm not gonna get into this. The, now, the but amount of fucking the amount of checks I've taken out for fucking Alzheimer's. Doing this bullshit. Alzheimer's. Yeah, f- staying up all night, all nighters, working the hours that we work, the the sleep, for the everything. T- what is if all you, that every mean? time you every time you have sleep deprivation, especially mm. an all nighter, you are increasing your risk by like a. Oh, so you said you say Alzheimer's, not all timers. Yeah, Alzheimer's. Oh, I thought you said all timers. Mm, so all like, timers. I don't know what that is. You're like taking no, out a no. check for all timers. Mm, I'm no. like, I don't know what the fuck that means. I, I I'm just I'm just trying to reestablish. Regardless, doing this, what, re-establish. No, regardless, regardless, what I'm saying, what I'm saying what is, saying that is I think that you you didn't have you're, the. You're no- sitting here trying you to strip away our relatability, and I'm fighting for it Exactly. Well, you can, but what I'm saying is that you have to go through normal workforces to to. Talk with your common man and stuff. So I feel like you had oh, all Joe these- Rogan, the common man. 
Mm -hmm. they, they got, yeah. Okay. But what I mean is, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know. It's yeah, been don't. so long that it's just boring now. So uh -huh. mm -hmm. that's always what happens. <laughs> this know. is boring now. <laughs> that's another fucking three pointer for us. <laughs> Once again, you're doing a great <laughs> job making yourself as a social person. I don't need to appear a social person. I just need the facts to be right. And the okay. facts are that the, you, the facts are I'm right. I was just trying to help worker. explain. I was actually trying to be help sympathetic to you guys lives. for no, not you being weren't. a part of a normal fucking social hierarchy when you grow up. Oh, so you're, so you're trying me. to say because we are babies and don't work, that's why we're retarded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah I was in a pub for two years. It's like the most social thing you can do. You're acting like two years at a fucking pub is anything. Who gives a shit? You're talking about gaining social skills. What's yeah, more, 17 to 19, you have no fucking social reference to anything. What is more sociable than bartending? <laughs> I mean, uh, you're having conversations, but what I mean is that you ha you have no context to like leave your nest, survive on your own, go through like weird struggles sure, through a regular what workforce. What does it have to do with social though? Because you're with other people experiencing yeah. it the same. You t okay, so two autistic people share mm -hmm. like waking up at fucking noon and making cartoons. You have that's like no real real life thing that people can relate to. The autism is the genetic component. <laughs> no matter how much socializing we've done, the autism remains there. That's not our fault. <laughs> yeah, it undermines you're doomed your point. regardless. I'm just exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't wait to do 23 and me's and go get autism tests, and we're just like three neurotypical white guys, and that's all it is. You think I am there with you? No, he you, said well, I'm, I'm saying, oh, three. You said three. It's literally yeah. true that none of us actually have autism, and I probably am not Romani. I probably have a bit, but, but we we couch everything. I mean, I, I would, hope so. I fucking no, I, hope so. I, I would be actually I very surprised if you guys. I don't think it's intense, but I definitely think there's traits. <laughs> <laughs> we did an online test. I got pretty high. Yeah, but I scored. Do, do we do, do we diagnostically qualify though? I'm not sure. I yeah, guess we'll, find, I guess we'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Trevor, shit. That's, that's is that going to be a cold wake up call if you find out you're like, oh my god, this is a lot Dude, higher I, than I would be elated. Really? Yeah. Because it's an explanation. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're like, excuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, yes. I was like, I'm going to apply to so many colleges. <laughs> 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 Start framing the acceptance letters in my yeah. office. And put National on American walls. University. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Yale, Duke. I, I, uh, brave, brave twenty-nine-year-old Romani boy with autism <laughs> takes on I finally has back the courage. Back. <laughs> finally has the courage to apply to Harvard. The props you should uh, be giving us is us still standing where we are, off of nine or ten years of doing this shit. The thing you've is, barely it, been doing the, it the too. Thing, the thing and is, it's that the worst feel, thing you've I, ever done. I feel, right? like, I feel like you're sitting there and you're like. It, I do have props for you, but at the same time, it's like watching, like, I don't know how it would frame no, he's gonna, this. He's going to take them all away. It, I don't here's know. The I don't, here's I'll the butt it. I don't know how I would frame this, Everything but I feel like you're these people that have withstood fires. Thank you. Right? <laughs> but the whole problem is that <laughs> like you don't, re you don't realize zone. you're on fire. <laughs> so you're sitting there and you're just like, aren't we still here? And you're just burning alive. <laughs> and you're like, I feel for you. But at the same time, I'm like, run. <laughs> like, get in there. I come from very humble beginnings. I'm a self-made man. I will not have that taken away from me. I never said you should. You guys having that you success said at a young age? You said you've never, you've always had a free ride. Not true. <laughs> when have I once said you've had a free <laughs> That's ride? That's what you said. In so many words. You know what? I have like my varsity jacket on. Yeah. You know what, Tom? Yeah. <laughs> your parents are free. You, you were like, you You just had to stay at home and ever, ever, ever. I was out of the house by 18 and I never went back. There it is. All by myself. Parents didn't give me a dime. <coughs> Maybe like 200 bucks, but not a dime of Oh, we're talking, okay. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, okay, so you, yeah, hand out much. No, I think that it's, I've, and I've always said this, I think it's impressive what you guys did at such a uh, young age. Whatever, bro. I've said that. Mm -hmm. Always have. Bridges have been burnt. Good. Not that you would know. <laughs> what does that mean? Because the fire statement I said earlier. <clears throat> oh, I thought it's it was true. like if we're too retarded to tell. And that too. I'd be like, sure. <laughs> dum -de -dum -de -dum. Why did he talk to us no more? <laughs> I don't get it. 
I don't understand. I send you a five paragraph Dude, message on Instagram. Dude, this was the Instagram. perfect message. It was perfect. We was really so cal- You can tell we really calibrated it too. Yeah, like, okay, so, we mo- so this bit. Yeah, and- this bit proves how successful we are. So we're worth like taking on the podcast. Well, this I, bit shows yeah, we're impressed. No, no, well, we I did th- it act two. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's it's it's. <laughs> we're doing the, the Dan Harmon <laughs> story circle, <laughs> and that's our character change at the end. The uh. <laughs> You can definitely tell that it's like one of those things where it's like so it's definitely by a young person who's trying to be like mature, but then also it's like trying to be like we're formal and like we're being respectful, but also we're kind of funny too. <laughs> you know, it's like definitely one of those. You things. know, I think Joe. We know been, James Hetfield. Joe's professional. Also, what a fucking this. odd reference. He just had James Hetfield on. Was that was that all the way back in 2016? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because I remember he he had him on, but it wouldn't make too. sense to like was, say it three years after or three years before. That was well, right I, 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 I picture powers of deduction. I I just thought that you would be like. I mean, we're big Metallica fans, so I just thought that you'd be like, I'm no James Hetfield. I'm Hedfield. no James Hetfield, Joe. Well, we so are I, big Metallica okay, so fans. He, he's white, so he likes Metallica. Yeah. That's that's the rationalization. <laughs> I was like, okay, so that's what he was thinking when he said that. <laughs> well, I think we fucking squeeze that lemon for all the disgusting cringe juice it has in it. <laughs> Stop talking about it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, think I think we're done with that. Else, Stop it! Yeah. Stop it! Stop <laughs> fighting anymore. I don't want to say this anymore. <laughs> I hate this. We were at Don's playing Halo the other night. Did we were talk about it? No, we didn't. <clears throat> we were at Don's talking about this. It's just that voice remind me of it. And every time Don was doing this like sad puppy thing, because every time he'd play, he was losing. He's it's, like, it's It's because I'm on the team. It's because I'm playing. Yeah. And we're like, No, Don, you're doing a good job. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, we lost. Oh, we lost the That's game. like uh, one of those things like, where you're joking but also covering. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, so you're like, yeah. if well, I bring this up, then they can't make fun of me. I brought, I yeah. brought yeah. these guys over to my <laughs> yeah. house and I suck. No, no. <laughs> They're going to think I'm a loser. This, this you guys whole, ever had that problem when you were younger? This was just stupid. I would have over and then I just can't play the game. <laughs> you ever had that problem when you're younger when you're like middle, like middle school or something and you invite people over? And like you're like you're playing Guitar Hero with your friends, and they can play it on like expert, and you're like, all right, I'm gonna play Ray Blood. It's on medium, so you don't have to you don't, you don't have to click the fucking orange button. You're like, this is awesome, and they're like so bored, and you're like, I'll just watch you guys play, and you're like sitting in the back corner with like a tear rolling down your eye. You're like, no, I was always better than my friends at games, so I never really experienced that. You're such a fun. <laughs> I feel like Tom was the kind of guy where people are like, I'm like, I guess we can go over the Tom's. Is, he has the rock band with the drums or whatever. I never had <laughs> that shit, bro. I always wanted Humble rock band beginnings. with the drums. Mm-hmm. I always thought the drums were sweet. <clears throat> it was annoying. You didn't yeah, like the drums? We added it. I mean, you can hear the the clacking more than the music. Yeah, part. the. <laughs> but I was still like, that's a sweet. <laughs> the, I thought the guitar here, because guitar here had like world tour or whatever the fuck it was called. And I always thought those are cool too because they had the fake symbols. Oh. And I was like, whoa. So I remember leaving like angry reviews on IGN when they scored Guitar Hero higher than Halo 3. <laughs> Wait, did they really? Was Halo 3? Ah, oh, yeah, you get it. Was it's it not right? Was yeah, Halo 3. Yeah, yeah. What, 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 wait, really? Wait, what? They, well, they, they well, did a what? I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. Talk about it for a minute. <laughs> well, I thought I, I, I was. I like I was agree with a 13 year old Tom. <laughs> well, I was. I was. <laughs> what the I'm hell? Confused because I thought everybody <laughs> says Halo 3 is the best. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, well, I, 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 was I, I actually find it interesting. I want to know what the I'm score like, was. You give Halo yeah. an eight and Guitar Hero gets a nine. Well, by that point, when like Guitar Hero came out, it was like the fucking eleventh one. So I'm like, it was Halo three like that bad received? No, it was sick, and I told them so. <laughs> IGN changes their score. <laughs> <laughs> Local British boy changes her mind. It wasn't IGN. It was Kotaku. Maybe uh, I don't know. It was one of them. Also, was it Guitar Hero two no, or, it was, or was, a, was it World it was, Tour? It was. Uh, it well, was a website that doesn't maybe I don't know. It was Kota- something I, I think remember. I've heard of Kotaku. Mm-hmm. What just happened? So that one died. It's dead. I don't know how to okay. charge my tubes. We charged him for a little bit yesterday. I think that we should allude to your hunting story and then maybe it could be spliced in and then Hey boys, I went hunting. Oh. Tom, you uh you were gone for a while. What did you end up doing? Well I mean all our clothes is gonna change. You just have to say like we And also, you know, by the way, these outfits are stinky. Let's just let's just do the hunting bit again. Makeover! You want to talk about a hunting trip? Yeah. Man. For once in my life, I did something not boring. Yeah. It's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> ah, stop it. You don't have to applaud. You, you don't have to applaud. She gave you two. 
You don't have to best friend of 10 years applaud for my well, getting out of my comfort zone. I need to hear it first. All right. What do you want to know? All of it. All of it? Yeah. How, where do I start? There's too much. That's too much options. Uh, it's what started, animal did you kill? Yeah. What animal? Deer. What kind of, was it a male or a female? Was it, it was a buck? A, it was a doe. A deer, a uh, female deer. So, so a defenseless one. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Like I saw a big proud buck and I was like, move on, brother. <laughs> and then this fucking, <laughs> this, this bitch who had had no adversity in her whole life came around. I was like, bam, fuck you. Was it a one shot killer? Or did you have to stab it and kill it? No, I had to. Uh, oh, unironically, you it? I didn't Tight. stab it. Unironically, I had the cleanest dude, kill of the hunt. Did you stab it? I didn't stab really? it. Really? Where'd you shoot it? I shot it in like the lungs, heart area. Mm. Wow. Yeah, There's like a place where you're supposed to shoot it to give it the quickest death. Because mm. I'll be honest, like, so right. m my mentor is like a uh, kind of, he set this whole thing up, right? right, right. There's hey, a, you should probably give context. Yeah, what were so, you even doing? Where'd you go? So I went um, East Texas. There's like this place out there where you can hunt animals and shit. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mentor basically set it up. He's got like his name, uh, his online handle, Shape Carver. Uh, he's a really cool guy, but he he has a bunch of mentorship students who he teaches mm -hmm. art, right? And he set up the trip with like four other guys um, and me or whatever. So we went out to like, well, first I actually went down to San Antonio, which was mm -hmm. pretty cool. We spent like a couple of days on the range, but a big part of me accepting this trip was like almost philosophical because if, any, if anyone's listened for any amount of time and you guys know, I do not like leaving the house, not even a right. little bit. So I was like, I really do not want to go fucking <laughs> hunting. It's like everything I hate, like ticks and outside and all this shit. But um, my, my, my wife is a vegan and she's always banging on about animals, animal rights and stuff. So I was like, I'm going to go fucking kill one. <laughs> No, I was, I was like, I need to <laughs> let all that other stuff go to go spite your wife. Yeah, I was like, I want to teach this fucking bitch a lesson. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what it, what it really was is like, I feel like to justify my consumption of meat, I need to like own the process. Yeah, and also just like not feel like such a pussy, you know. Yeah, no. I feel you like. ever just feel like a bit of a pussy? No, because yeah. you've never done nothing. Like, I have. Yeah, yeah, you get it done. Okay. I, I know you do, Hunter. <laughs> maybe, maybe the pussiest answer of all, not being able to admit it. Yeah, mm. dude. That's right. Look at this mullet. You see Trevor shaking his head. Yes. Nodding his head. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but he's, yeah. He's texting me. He's talking talk about how big of a pussy you guys are. Go ahead. Sorry. So, uh, yeah, we went we went out to and uh, we went to a range a couple of days and then he surprised us with like a trip to go see uh, Joe Rogan live. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually? Yeah, we went oh, saw, wow. in Austin, went, went and saw Joe Rogan and uh, Tony Hinchcliffe and all that oh, shit. Oh, God, that must have been terrible. It was, it was okay. I liked was it. Was it? Oh, okay. Like Tony Hinchcliffe, uh, I think his his like normal comedy is like not for me. Really, was it his show? When he roasts people, it was mm. Joe Rogan's yeah, show. Yeah. He was going it. When he roasts people, he fucking like roasts them pretty yeah. good. Like really text piss out of them. It was a funny clip of him uh, going to like a Snoop Dogg thing, and it, like all the other actors on the show were black, or all the other guests or whatever. And he gets up, and he's the first thing out of his mouth is "You're all under arrest." <laughs> <laughs> good, um, but yeah. And then we went hunting, and I shot a fucking deer right through its stupid heart and lungs and mm. felt bad and uh it is always kind of a sad one to see to do that at the first time you do it mm. yeah i've never done anything like that yeah because you just look at because i mean deers are cute yeah. you know a little helpless deal now she's I, dead mm. also like we were supposed to like split off into these different groups and we were t there's these so these big like redneck dudes who ran this ranch or whatever mm. this guy called uh tony he's just like the most no words, redneck you've ever heard, super deep voice. Um, to the point where it's like funny. Yeah. But mm -hmm. like my mental guy who's arranging a trip thought that that guy was going to like take us out because none mm -hmm. of us had hunted before except the shape mental. carver guy right, and yeah. the right. obviously the rednecks. Right. But no, he just fucking dropped us off in <laughs> like the woods with guns. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he was like, well, yep, just, uh, you know, try, try to be safe and... Uh, there is a gator out here, but you probably won't run into him. So immediately I'm fucking like, what What the fuck do you mean there's a gator? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we just like stalked through all these like woods and shit. And um, you had to sneak up on him. Yeah, I had to sneak up on, on him. So you didn't get into like a tree, uh, tree stand or anything? Well, we did eventually right. uh, because I didn't get anything on the stalk. One guy mm -hmm. did, but that was oh, way okay. too hard for me. What did he get? I'm just like, I'm a uh, Lenny Hands. I'm very, like, loud. Right. So I'm just like... <laughs> 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 
no chance but yeah he got one um, did you go skin and like get the meat out of it and stuff yeah 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 no. yes. it was oh, like wow, a really okay yeah, yeah the whole it, was, deal. it was so funny like right. the way that tony guy spoke he was like skinning a deer and he's just like so nonchalant about it he was like yeah you reach up from behind grab her asshole get get a foothold and then you're <laughs> it's, uh, it was pretty fucked but mm-hmm. um yeah then because i wasn't very good at the first hunt I got to sit in a little fucking pillbox. Right, right. A little grain feeder goes off, whatever, shoots fucking food everywhere. (laughs) 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 The most unfair. So, yeah, it was one of those fucking hay kill. I'm just sitting there with like a gun waiting. All the odds in my favor. Shoot it in the face. This is just like. When I was young, I went on a hunt with my dad, and I, and I remember he's like, we were like getting ready to shoot, and I like shot way over because it, mm. and, and I was like, and he was like, just be quiet and shoot, and I shot and I yelled because I, because <laughs> I was like, run, run, baby! But when I, I shot and I was like, oh no, like that. And my dad's like, what the hell? The thing ran off. And he's so fucking pissed. <laughs> I was like, oh Jesus. Yeah, it was. Uh... Did you tell uh, your wife that you killed something? No, I mean she doesn't want to know. Mm. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't know if you just immediately just be I like, just walk and in and I did it. Guess what I did? <laughs> Cook this. You like throw it on the <laughs> fucking counter. Yeah, and no, I gave the other guys on the hunt the meat, but right, right. yeah, I felt I felt bad, man. I felt super bad. I'm I was so happy that I like killed it like very cleanly. Because mm. yeah, right. yeah, again, brutal. Like, it's brutal when you clip its leg and you got like stab it and shit. It's fucking. Right. Yeah, no, I, I'm. It like went down like a sack of fucking potatoes, That's and cool. it's like back legs like kicked. For like five, uh, six seconds, and then it just kind of went limp. Right. And then I had to fucking drag it out of the nice. thing and like onto a road <coughs> thing. Onto like a little dirt track so my good boy Tony could come on the gator. <laughs> you get one? Yeah, yes, Tony. <laughs> All right. The green, nothing wrong with that shot. Grain feeder worked a treat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it was really unfair. Did the grain feeder work and we put, we, it's like there's like a huge like 12 foot fence around the whole area too. <laughs> Yeah, they usually walk over there from time to time. I'm like, my ancestors did this. I'm part of a long story. I joined that's, the circle of killing. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> I love that. Hey, I could have, I could have missed my shot and yeah, fucked a deer up. Yeah, I honestly thought, funny. I honestly thought that you wouldn't have shot it. Well, I'm just like, <laughs> no, or just. I, I, I mean, I've seen people. I mean, like when I was younger, I did that too. It's, it's fucking, mm. it's hard. Like, they're just like so innocent, big black eyes, just like. Yeah, I, I, I. Mm. Uh, I had to own the pros own the process. That was the biggest part for me is just like if I'm gonna fucking chicken nuggets, <laughs> I've yeah. got to be able to pull the trigger at least once. Right. Like at least also, once. deers are just so stupid, extremely overpopulated, and that thing's probably been raped to death like seven times. Well, so. the only the I, it's funny I picked up all the talking points to defend myself. <laughs> <laughs> the, the only way an animal dies in nature, you know, is by being eaten or starving to death when they it gets no old. They're natural predators, except for cars, which kill people. So I. You know, I did it favor. Mm-hmm. It's not going to get that nice of a death. Yeah, and also, I was thinking, as long, as long as you, uh, I, you like, know, I as, as long as you like utilize all the meat and shit too, it's all just the meat like was utilized. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I saw it get fucking disemboweled. I also read this, off. those fucking things are uh, going to perpetuate COVID forever. Like a, a, a dis, like ridiculous percentage of white-tailed deer in North America all have it, and they're not sick with it. They just carry it, and then it bounces to humans. Some of them. So it's like, have you seen that some of deer have like this zombie shit going on? It's like spreading crazy, but it makes them like, like aggressive and fucked up. I've like, heard, I've heard about and they that. walk funny and shit. Yeah. It's like a real problem. Stop it, dear! <laughs> Shoot the head! <laughs> so yeah, I, uh, I'm a man now. Fair enough. Good job, dude. Yeah. We went Proud into Austin. Yep. Yeah. Almost got mugged. Joe Rogan! Almost got mugged in Austin? I don't know how almost, but a little bit almost. A black guy walked by him. And one guy, gr- one guy said, "Hi, how you doing?" <laughs> um, Take it, leave. <laughs> <laughs> there was no. We were walking to it, and like these two big fucking dudes came out of like an alleyway and were mm-hmm. eyeing us up. And uh, what how many of you were there? There were five, but we were walking out in front. Uh, okay. So there was two of us. It was me and this other dude, right. and we were just walking by, and I just saw these two like huge guys come out of an alleyway. Right. I won't comment on their ethnicity. Mm. They did look like unlockable characters. <laughs> <laughs> but then the other three of our group like walked behind us. And mm. uh, yeah, my hero, my mentor. 
Big so, fuck. So, so literally... Save me, daddy. <laughs> so literally... Everyone agreed, and there was a POC in our group, that those guys were eyeing us up for the raping. Mm-hmm. Okay? I feel like what happened is they walked by, two guys just went out, and they are like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, the, but do the to- voice. Toyota, Toyota Cor- Corolla is like a good purchase, too. And you're just like... <laughs> Walking by, everyone's like, "Yeah, dude, they were totally gonna like rape you, dude." So I think. You know, Anyways, probably. do you guys want to grab a bite to eat before this Joe Rogan experience? Or- <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly, dude. It was scary. Was it fucking packed? I imagine it was packed in that Joe Rogan thing. Yeah, it was packed. Mm-hmm. Where did they sell it? Like an amphitheater, or where did they sell out? What's an amphitheater? It's like not a not a stadium, but it's like the next the this like it's maybe called a step the Vulcan down. Gas Company. It's in Austin. It's like I think two, yeah, I think he just plays at little clubs. He doesn't do oh really? Okay. Oh yeah, no, it's just like very. Uh, I th- I figured it was like I mean like uh, like an amphitheater is like I don't know five to eight thousand seats maybe. Oh dude, no, yeah, no, no, it was like so, like the comedy store. It was like yeah, oh, okay. murderers like, at the comedy store. I was like fifteen feet away from. But him. is that like the new comedy store? In yeah, Austin? but he's he's making his own. Oh, of course. He's going to make his own. But anyway, yeah. yeah, I was only like 15 feet from him and stuff. Right. It was all right. It was funny. Who else played? It was Dave, there was Dave, Hans Dave Kim. Ch- Dave Chappelle's been tied to him. He the wasn't there. Recently. Hans Kim, some like angry ginger dude. Uh, Tony, Tony Hinchcliffe. Oh, Hinchcliffe. Uh, Andrew Santino? No. Uh, no, uh, Hans Kim yeah. is his name he's in. Oh. He says his name is Hans Kim. That's uh, another guy that was an Asian uh, guy. Oh, so there's a ginger guy? It was yeah. Andrew Santino? I don't think so. He had like... He's got really Dave. thinning hair and like big hair on the sides and a big oh, beard. No. Oh, yeah. I think he probably know too. He's seen Dave. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, well, it wasn't that guy, no. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, obviously Joe Rogan himself. And yeah, right. I asked Joe Rogan a question for you, Don. Is that right? Yeah, he opened up the floor for questions, <laughs> and I couldn't think of a good one myself. So what'd, what'd you say? say? Like, what do you think of simulation theory, Joe? <laughs> Joe, simulation theory. I was like, ah, simulation theory. That's my Joe Rogan. <laughs> ah, simulation theory. I don't know. I was like, What'd you think about that cartoon of you? <laughs> Did you like it? The Flaskins cartoon. You retweeted it. It's me. It's me. Joe. Joe, the guy. Joe it's me. Only me. Uh, yeah, I'm I a one man operation, Joe. <laughs> <laughs>